This is the Hype Cube TKL, the modern human interface. Today, we're going to help you get started in the setting up of the Cube and to get the most out of it. We will go over what's included, an overview of the hardware, and how to configure it all in Height Nexus software. We will be covering key remapping, rotary assignments, and lighting control. Let's get started. In our commitment to reducing plastics, we opted for using mostly recycled paper-based materials in our packaging. Let's put the cube aside and go over the included accessories. You get a USB Type-C to Type-C cable to plug the keyboard in, and a USB Type-C to dual USB Type-A adapter in case you don't have an available Type-C port on your PC. Additional feet at different heights are also included to get the perfect typing angle. Now, let's tear into the cube. The Tenculus design drops the numpad for a more compact form factor, which retains core functionality for work and allows extra space for play. The crystal bubble polycarbonate gently unites resilience and aesthetics while allowing the rich qRGB lighting to shine through. Two onboard profiles with four layers of key mappings each ensures your cube is always configured and ready for work or play. Customizable dual magnetic rollers allow for superior digital control of volume, brightness, scrolling, zoom, and much more including integration with Windows applications. We fitted low profile blue switches for our flappy paddle media keys, making it super satisfying to change songs. For the main switches, we have 45 gram linear height fluffy lavender switches with a 1.5 millimeter actuation. The palm stem is mated with polycarbonate housing lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero for an ultra smooth typing experience. Enthusiast standard gold-plated Duroc V2 screw and stabilizers were used in conjunction with Crytox lube to kill all the rattle. All of it comes together in a gasket mounted design with four layers of sound dampening for soft typing and muted acoustics. Stay tuned for our hardware tutorial, but for now, let's get you up to speed with software so you can experience keyboard bliss. First, install Nexus from Height.com. Log in with an existing Height account or register a new one. You can also proceed without having to do either by clicking continue as guest during setup. Tune the performance of Nexus as desired to provide the best experience between quality and efficiency for your system. Optimized defaults are pre-selected and is generally the best route for most people. Now let's launch the Height Cube widget. Here you can assign keys by remapping any of them and saving directly to one of the two onboard profiles with up to four layers of key mappings for each. Reset your layers by clicking here on the top right. You can also map mouse input functions including mouse clicks, vertical scrolling, or quick directional panning to any key. Control Windows power and sleep functionality, web browsing, and navigation buttons or quickly launch system apps directly from your key. Below the key assignment tab is rotary assignment. Right now it's connected to volume and brightness. Click on these icons below to control a variety of apps. For example, you can have them zoom, scroll, or pair to editing apps to scrub timelines and even change brush size. Sensitivity controls your input speed from slow to fast. We will support different functions in future updates. If you have a specific request, hop in our Discord to talk with our software team. On the macros tab, you can record any combination of keys to trigger with just one button. Go back to the key assignment tab to map it to a specific key. The keyboard tester tab allows you to test each key. I find this useful after swapping out my switches to make sure all my keys are reading my inputs properly. One more note in the settings section of Nexus. The lighting profile you choose here in settings corresponds only to firmware lighting, which takes effect when Nexus is not running. This is not the main way to control your key lighting. The game mode toggle disables certain keys. This is useful when playing games to prevent misclicks. We all know how infuriating it is when you accidentally minimize your gaming screen. Let's get into all the amazing lighting possibilities with the power of Nexus. Exit the key module and enter the lighting module. Here, you will see your key on the top right. Right now, it is set to universe, which throws the same pattern of qRGB across all connected devices. To have more precise control over device placement and immersion, set it to planet and customize as desired. From here, you will see all your Nexus enabled peripherals, including key. They are represented by boxes, which you can move and change the shape of to match your setup IRL. Once this is done, you can paint your setup with light. Starting with animate, choose from our preset library, splashing color throughout your setup in a unified manner. My favorite lighting feature is screen mirroring which turns your cube into a synchronized backdrop of what's happening on your monitor, creating total immersion when paired with other Nexus enabled products. Next is audio visualization, which makes the lighting react in real time to your music with changes in color, brightness, speed, and intensity. You can also choose from media static lighting further below. Click on the three dots for a more granular control over your lighting settings. For more information on Nexus, check out our Nexus software tutorial, link in the description. Thank you for choosing Keeb, and we look forward to seeing all your setups with the Keeb Center stage. Tag us in socials, and don't forget to join our community on Discord.